Greetings everyone, assalamu alaikum. Those who are observing Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. I am Sister Danielle X here with National Network View with the Silent Crown Report. Guess what you all, I have a special guest today. Sister Frida Gibbs, her story is a long one and I'm honored to be able to have her here today as my, as our special guest. So as we wait for her to join in, uh, you all can check out notifications at the bottom. You can make comments, leave notes, suggestions. Know that you can follow us on all social media platforms here on Instagram, NNV News, and on Facebook, National Network View. Also on YouTube, National Network View. Let's stand by. We'll wait for her to join in. And thank you all for your time and coming in and hearing this important and um, detailed conversation. I'm excited. Thank you all. Welcome, Salon, Sister Amber. Stand by and wait. Thank you all for your patience. Sister Chanel, awesome like um Yes, ma'am. There she is. Yes, ma'am. She's coming, you all, Kim. She's coming, she's coming. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. Hold on for a second. Um, yes, ma'am. Let's see here. Uh, headset. Okay, great. Um, I can barely hear you. I thought I had uh -huh. it set up a different way. No problem. I wasn't planning on doing this on my phone. Hang tight for a second, okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I sure would. One second. We're not started yet, are we? We're live. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's just go for it. I got to hear you from there. Go ahead. Sweet. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. For those who don't know, I want them to. Can you introduce yourself to the world, who you are? <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my name is Fredia Gibbs, and uh, I'm a martial artist, uh, mm -hmm. a kickboxing champion, and uh, um, big sister. Um, mm -hmm. They say that I'm the most dangerous woman in the world, but actually I'm the daughter of the most dangerous woman in the world. See, <laughs> I like that. And, um, you know, I will be the first black woman, African-American, period, in the country and on the whole planet to uh, have a seven-foot bronze statue unveiled in my honor uh, 2021 uh, in July. So that's truly an honor. Uh, yes. And it will represent, you know, martial artists and particularly my culture to let them know that the door is open now and we can do all things. You did? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah, you did. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I personally was scrolling through, going through some research, and um, came across a, a YouTube video okay. of you. And I, and I sat there with my mouth like this the whole time in amazement in your story and your journey in martial arts. And me personally being mm -hmm. a student of Grandmaster Abdul Aziz, uh -huh. Grandmaster Anthony Muhammad. To see, to feel your energy was real. You there? To, to your story was so touching to me. 
Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so I just want to be able to reach out to you in that regard to be able to have the world hear and see what I heard and saw yeah. um, in that. So you shared about being bullied as a child. How did it affect you even now as an adult? Well, let me just share this with you. Um, even today, I still have, you know, I've been affected. I'm, I'm still affected by it. But the only the thing is I learned how to master turning a negative into a positive. Does that make sense yes. to you? Yes, ma'am. So um, that's what I did. I, once I learned and was taught, love you too, Mayo. Uh, once <laughs> I learned to turn, uh, once I learned first that our mind is our, our greatest weapon mm -hmm. and not what's in between our legs as a, as a woman, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, then I learned, uh, um, you know, the importance of self-defense. Um, but yeah, it was a horrifying experience being bullied. I don't think no one should be bullied. It's a horrifying, look, listen, they bullied, they bullied, there's a story about Jesus Christ. They said they bullied him, you dig, you know, for they knew not what they were doing as a state, you dig. So it happens to a lot of us, unfortunately. You, you know what I mean? But it's a, hard, yeah. it's a horrible feeling. It, it's not a very comfortable feeling. And mm -hmm. what I've learned from a young child is from the bullying, I learned to live life uncomfortable. Mm. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am, it does. Okay. Yes, ma'am, it does. Wow. Because yeah. you, I mean, because you were athletic. You had an athletic build with yourself. Your posture was athletic. And I guess they didn't like they weren't liking that at the time, so they kind of put pressure on you. Um, you ran track. Yeah, you ran track. Yo, track. What's that? You, yes, ma'am. You you ran track. That's right. And yeah. um, yes, ma'am. And you also too um, started doing martial arts young. Very young. Very yes, very young. Um, so how how did it go out? How how did that start for you? Well, um, again, it started bullying um, in school. Like you said, you know, everyone watched the video, not only yourself, but there was like 1.678 million people who enjoyed the video as well. Mm -hmm. So that was a major impact. But, um, you know, it all started in, in fifth grade. You did. Wow. Here mm -hmm. I am. Here we are kids, first of all, just trying to learn our, our, our identity and figure out who mm -hmm. we are as people. We're trying to learn what six plus seven is. We're not really paying attention to how we are built. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense to you? Yes, ma'am. But yet these kids were paying attention to how I was built, which brought that to my attention, made me aware, made me embarrassed of how I was built. And I didn't even didn't know how I was built. Yeah. You know, you did? Mm -hmm. So um, then it got to me being, trying to be smart mentally. Okay, well, listen, what I'll do Instead of you beating me up, how about if I help you with your homework since I see that you're struggling? Yes. That makes sense? So yes. I'm trying to embrace the bully because this is what I was taught. Embrace the negative and make it your friend. And that's how you turn a negative into a positive. You did? Wow. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. So. So you, tra you, tra you transfer. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. But you, you transfer that energy somewhere else. You redirect it. The energy over exactly and, and made friends along the way exactly so what i did i converted my 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 bullies into my friends and then i mm -hmm. got and then i started getting more and more of them they weren't doing their homework and i was doing my homework and i was doing their homework and it got to the point where i got tired of doing their homework yes ma'am so then that's mm -hmm. when it came back on the attack wow that makes sense yes ma'am but what i figured out even at, in the fifth grade danielle is that if you embrace the enemy and make him your friend, you got it. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And once yes, I discovered that, I was like, okay, so this is how I can turn a negative into a positive. Wow. Smart. Then, Smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yes, ma'am. Now, you mentioned about your journey in martial arts at the beginning. Your uncle... That's correct, yeah. On the, on the dojo. Can you yeah. share that story with us? Yeah, he was one of my favorite uncles at the time. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> great guy. Great guy. Um, he was a martial art instructor at the Quiet Star Martial Arts School in, in Pennsylvania, along with Master Rick Berry, 
you know, mm -hmm. who taught me, mm -hmm. and uh, Master Nick Nichols. These guys were great guys. I was very fortunate. I didn't realize it then, but I realize it now. You dig? I was mm -hmm. very fortunate to have been bullied mm -hmm. and to have been attacked at a young age and to have been introduced to martial arts. Mm -hmm. You dig? Because the day that I was bullied, I'll never forget my uncle coming to me. He put his arm on my shoulder. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we were walking down the street. And he was like, so mm -hmm. I hear you're being bullied. And yeah. I was like, yeah, man. You know, he said, now, so I also hear that you have been, you know, transferred to like three different schools. Wow. He said, listen, Fredia. He was real firm. I felt his energy, but I also felt his love and support. He said, listen. You cannot continue to run all of your life. Mm. And that's, uh, that applies to all of us. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What we're going to do, we're going to rebuild your self-confidence. Wow. Now, mind you, I'm only in fifth grade, so I don't even know what self-confidence is. So mm -hmm. I asked him, what that mean? Mm -hmm. You dig? What, mm -hmm. that, what that mean? What's, what's confidence? What that mean, Unc? Have no doubt in who you are and the mm -hmm. gift that God has blessed you with. Make sense? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> once I understood that, I was like, okay. Because when he said learn karate, I was like, nah, man, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. This ain't about fighting. This is about rebuilding your self-confidence. Yes, rebuilding your self-esteem. Yes. Changing your mindset from the runner. Mm -hmm to being the, the one who stand firm. Make sense? Yes. And that's wow. what happened. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So he had you in the dojo. Yeah. And you were training. You were training and training and training. He had the key. He put the key on the floor and told you what? Yeah, come on. He liked that story. That's so that's yes. amazing stuff. <laughs> that, that, it's crazy. It's so cool because I had so he made he turned something negative into a positive. Because mm -hmm. I had so much fun at it, and I had no idea what he was doing to me, but mm -hmm. and I had no idea the impact. But the only mm -hmm. thing I knew is that he was coaching me, and I was mm -hmm. listening. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So back to what you said, the name of the game, every Saturday we would spar, and the name of the game was for me to get the key and get out. But I had to get past him, mm -hmm. and I had to do it with control, Mm. With discipline, I had to use my mind, you know, I had to be smart. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. You know, because this was a matter, in my mind, this is a matter of life and death, as he stated to me. Mm -hmm. So he taught me at a young age. I didn't even know it. Mm. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. We sparred, I'm telling you, for years, wow. me trying to get past him to get the key. And I mm -hmm. was getting stronger and stronger and smarter, and I was getting closer and closer to the door. And a couple times I did get the key and get past, got past him, but I didn't do it the right way. Wow. But I got past him those two times, so that was enough for me to know I could do it a third time. Yes, ma'am. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. So the third time, I did it the right way. I got past him, fought past him. Like he told me, I need you to work on techniques. I need you to aim for techniques. Keep in mind, this is a man. I want you to go for groin. I want you to go for throat. I want you nostril. I want you to go ankle. He was telling me everything. Am I making yes, sense to you? Yes, ma'am. That a, a daddy, that a warrior, that a great uncle would tell his niece to prepare her psychologically and to waking up the warrior with her in her before she gets out in the world amongst all those wolves. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And this is, what, this is what all girls need. You understand me? Yes. At a very young age. Yes, ma'am. They got to start early. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am, it does. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because in our society, Danielle, we as women, we are taught that sex sells. Ooh. You know? So you can't mm -hmm. blame the, the, the organized crimes and sexual trafficking 100%. Yes, because this is a two-way thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So we are taught that sex sells. We are taught that you got to use what you got to get what you want. Mm -hmm. We're taught this. You dig? We yes, are. We, we see parents, kid, uh, 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 adults who have children who reach sixteen or fifteen and go ahead and pass them on to you know someone a little older who can take care of them. 
Yes, so ma'am. So you can't just blame that all. It's not a, a, a one side story. It's a two way thing. Yes, ma'am. You did. Wow. Yes, ma'am. With uh, in regards to you making the statement about girls and women training. For those who are watching, is there an age limit that you think an age limit on when to start training your daughters and women, of course, to be able to learn some self-defense? Let's see. I started in fifth grade. So mm -hmm. how old How old are you in fifth grade? You're 11. 11? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I say eight. Today, mm -hmm. that's different. That was back then. Yes, you know ma'am. Today, I would say about eight years old, just start mm -hmm. them early. They need to learn discipline. They need yeah. to learn when they get out of bed, make your own bed. I didn't sleep in it. Hmm. When you make mistakes in life, you're going to have to deal with them. And you're going to have yeah. to learn how to deal with them. It starts by making your bed. It starts by doing basic things that you don't want to do, but it's going to make you a better person one day. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense? Yes, uh -huh. it does. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. For those who are just joining in this conversation, I have the honor and privilege of having this conversation with Sister Fridia Gibbs. You are her history is long, her story is amazing. And I want you all to tune in, take notes, have questions, put them down at the bottom. We want to be able to feed on her energy. We want to be able to deal with the fact of her being a living legend right in front of us. Got this black woman, this strong black woman who has had so much happen in her life that's willing to tell and share her information to help save our lives. Exactly. If you have any comments, share them at the bottom. We're going to hook you up and get you an answer today. But I want to ask you a question. Now, the, the story that touched me dearly for you, of course, the martial arts, but also that van incident. Let's share the van incident a little bit. Wow, girl, yeah. Danielle, I, I that's such a touching, touching I know. moment for me, you know? So mm -hmm. I need to get a paper towel so I don't, because I, I always tear up about this here, you know, because it really mm -hmm. affected me, you dig? Yes, ma'am. But um, I, um, to this day, I have PTSD. Excuse me for one second. I got to get a towel because yes, I, I just can't help it, you dig? Yes, ma'am. Because I'm alive, but it was so horrifying. Hmm. People don't understand. My mom does, and my grandma and my dad does. You dig? Mm -hmm. Yes. But it was horrifying. You hear yes, me? Mm -hmm. I had never experienced anything that horrible in my life. You dig? Yes. So hold on. Let me yes, ma'am. Because this is really tough for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I want you all to stand by. Um, she has not either moment to be able to collect her thoughts and be able to get herself together. But she has a story that she wants to share with us, with you all, in regards to what happened to her. This woman is a world-renowned martial artist. This woman is strong in physical and mental strength. But something happened to her that can happen to any of <laughs> us any day and time. But it's her response and how she handled uh -huh. the situation that has her here today. And that's what's yes. touching. So I want you all to listen. Bring your children. If you have daughters, if you have granddaughters, if you have neighbors, run across the street real quick. Bring everyone in the room so they can hear her story. It's the opportunity to be able to gain some knowledge about what's going on, what can happen to you. My teacher, Grandmaster Abdul Aziz, teaches us not if it happens, but when it happens. How are you going to be able to respond to these things? We can say a whole bunch on what we're going to do in our minds. At the side of our neck. I will do this. I will do that. But when that moment comes in your life, when it actually happens, yes. that response is a life and death reaction. It is. So I want you all to really pay attention. Not to, I mean, her tears are real. She's not crying for entertainment. Ain't nobody getting paid for this. It's actually happened to her physically. And many women who are watching this right now have been assaulted, have been attacked, have been raped, molested. It's real. But she's going to help us to be able to deal with the PTSD, how to be able to overcome that. So when you're ready, we're ready. Yeah, right on. Thank you very much. I appreciate that because everything you said, Danielle, is very true. You know, everything. Um, 
you know, most important thing is we as girls, as women, need to be taught early not mm -hmm. to make simple, make big decisions when we're tired. Yes. Okay? That's one yeah. thing. Because that's what I did. I made a big decision when I was tired, and it almost cost me my life. Yes, ma'am. I was taught at a very young age, the only time I am to use my weapons, and that this these here, my ankles yes. and fists, everything, is when it is a matter of life and death. Yes, ma'am. You did? Yes. I was forced. This one particular time I had gone to the, was invited to this domino game in Englewood. I didn't know anyone but a coworker. Domino game in Englewood, you know, payday Friday, you know, we're playing for money. Um, and it just so happens that I was also playing dominoes with a man I had no knowledge of mm -hmm. who had killed over 100 black women in Englewood. Yes, you did? I had no yes. knowledge of this. Mm -hmm. So we're playing dominoes. I lost my paycheck. I lost my bus fare. I was tired. My co-worker, she couldn't take me home because she was having a baby situation. So Lonnie said he would take me home. I took, I accepted the ride and it was not a good decision, but mm -hmm. I dealt with it. Here we are in the car. I say turn right and he turned left. That's when he woke me up. You did? Yes. I woke up real fast like, yo, bro, you going the wrong way. I live this way. You did? And I'm now I'm feeling his energy. And we go into this area, you know, and he shuts the turn the car off. He goes, look at here, bitch. Let me stick it in. I was like, no, man. No, I don't want you sticking it in. And I tried to bust out the door. And I couldn't because he didn't have no knobs on mm. the door. You hear me? Yes. And then I look back at him, you know, and look back at him, and he had he had a belt on his hand, and he was getting ready to hit me, knock me out. He was ready to knock me out. Yes, ma'am. And I looked back quickly, and that's when I had blocked it and, and hit him mm -hmm. and ran to the back of the van to try to run out the back of the door. You did? Yes. yes. Girl, when I, once I struggled, because he grabbed me. He grabbed mm -hmm. me. You did? Mm -hmm. He yes. knew exactly what I was going to do, and I wasn't the first one that went through that in that van. I'm going to tell you this right now. Yes, Okay? Because mm -hmm. of how he grabbed me when I went to run to the back of the van, how he grabbed me, he knew it. You dig? And I fought him yes. off and ran to the back. I was so disappointed when I saw there was a big chain on that damn door and a lock. Yes, ma'am. I was disappointed. I was horrified. I was terrified. Mm -hmm. I had seen my whole life mm. in front of me. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. And at that time, when I turned around and my back was against that door, mm. I remember the words of my mother. She said, always, always in emergency situations, keep your back, that back, your back up against that wall. That's your mm -hmm. safety. You yes, did? Yes. So that's what I did. You dig? And we fought. I threw a couple of leg kicks at him to let him know. And then that what happened was my defense mind, self-defense mindset turned on. Yes, ma'am. You dig? Yes. I was in self-defense mode now. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. So it wasn't about fear this time. You dig? Yes. It was about getting the key. That's all I want. That makes That's sense. That's right. You That's did? right. Yes. And he wasn't, he he looked just like my uncle as far as I was concerned. That's you right. Did? That's all I saw. Yes, so ma'am. So what I did, once I took his front leg down and I saw fear in his eyes, he charged me like a football player to try to tackle. Uh -huh. him. Okay. Uh -huh. He slammed me up against the van thing there. And as he did that, I knew what I was going to do. Because uh -huh. of my martial arts, it wasn't nothing new. You uh -huh. did? Yes, ma'am. I grabbed his shirt because in karate, taekwondo, and martial arts, we use gi against yes. people. We use their clothing against them. That makes yes, sense? Right. Their gi. Yes, ma'am. So yes, ma'am. In my mind, I was just using his gi. So I used his clothing against him. Grabbed the shirt, I was swimming over, swung him back. I ran yeah. down, to grab the pants leg, and I put him over. I pulled him over his shoes. That way he couldn't move. You did. Yes. Then I yes, stepped on his chest, and they didn't tell you. Then I grabbed his balls, his dick. You hear me? 
And yes, I held on tight to it. You understand? Yes, ma'am. At that time, that's when I had complete control of it. And hmm. that's I said, where the keys at, motherfucker? Hmm. He begged me to get out the van. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. He, I, when I grabbed the keys, he had about a thousand set of keys on this thing. Wow. You understand? Yes, ma'am. I said, which one is it? Mm. He said, the orange one. I held on tight to him. Don't get me. I held on tight to him. You hear me? Yes, and he was yelling for life. He was calling me all kinds of B I T C H's, everything. I don't care. That's you right. want to fight? You brought this out of me. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Screaming. Just go. Just go. Get out. Get out. I mm. held on tight. I unlocked the door. I took, unlocked the lock. I took the keys off. I mean, the chain off real fast. And I opened the door. And this is what I told him. I said, let me share this with you. Because I, I had to be safe. Yes, ma'am. If ever you see me on the streets, what are you going to do, Lonnie? He said, I'm going to say hi. I jacked him up. No, you're not. That's right. You're going to go the opposite direction. Am I clear? Ooh. Yes. Am I clear? Now, also, I want to let you know, you and Benita will never, ever see me again. Do you understand? Mm. And one more thing. When a bitch says no, she means no. And I stole on him. Fuck. Mm. And I ran and I threw the keys so he couldn't catch me. You follow yes, what I'm man. saying? So I threw the keys. Now, mind you, when I got out of the van, it was nothing but a bunch of fog. I couldn't see nothing. You hear me? I couldn't yes, see man. nothing. And I, I couldn't see the roads or nothing. You hear me? I was yes. falling. My clothing were ripped off me. And as I got closer, I saw these two lights. Mm. You follow what I'm saying? So I yes, kept man. walking toward the lights. And as I got mm. closer, the lights was getting closer. And we finally connected. And it was a cab. A cab driver. And the cab, I told the cab driver, he just took me home. When yes. I got home, I called my mama. I called my grandma. I just told him this guy tried to rape me in his van. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And my mom said, good. Did you fuck him up? I said, real good. And my mother <laughs> said, good. Good. Yes, he let him know he fucked with the right one tonight. Yes, and, then I called my, and then I called my grandmother. And my dad, my grandmother said, uh, 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 they set it up. I was on the next flight back to Philly. You hear me? Wow. Now, listen, yes, on the airplane, I was experiencing stuff that I had never experienced it before. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. It was crazy. I, it, I, I knew something was wrong with me neurologically because something had mm -hmm. happened. What That experience in the van had amplified everything in me. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Today, when I'm in the world, as my therapist says, today when my I'm in the world, my eye vision is perfect, sharp. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of everything. Mm -hmm. When I see vans, I feel that re I relive that experience. Yes, ma'am. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Yes, ma and I still have nightmares. Unfortunately, I relive because I, I, I think, oh, my God, I hope no girl is going through what I went through. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she didn't fight like I did. Maybe she didn't win like I did. You understand? Yes, ma'am. I just pray that that's not happening. But listen, that not only is that is happening right in front of us, it's in our it's happening mm -hmm. everywhere. Yes, ma'am. And, and it's a shame. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Again, um, that was a very um, detailed story, you all. And it touched her physically and emotionally. She's still damaged. It's years later. So if you're dealing with something at that capacity, if you have been molested, if you have been assaulted, if you've been part of sex trafficking, human trafficking, get some counseling. Get some yeah, argument. Yeah, Don't yeah. become numb to what you've experienced. Yeah. It's not going to go away. Of course yeah. it's not. You yeah. can't wash it off of you, right? It happened to you. Yeah. But yeah, you yeah. definitely have to have some outside sources to get you what you need to bring yeah. you up. Yeah. And yeah. always know it was not your fault. Yeah. Even though you got in the car, that's yeah. not your fault. No one has the right or the, the opportunity had came, but no one has the right to violate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one yeah. has the right to touch you. No one has the right to take from you what's yours. Yeah. If yeah. you're not willing to give yeah. it, the honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan says that you kill that person. Yeah. You harm them because you have to give away. You got a quick 
three second decision to make. Freedia had a quick decision to make you all to make the right move at the right time. He already had in his mind to attack her. He already I, had experience. Freedia, he had experience in this in this thing. And then he ran against you. So I, I tell you all definitely, I want you all to study this. And I want you to put, watch how you move daily. Going to work. How you go to the grocery store. How you go into your house. It's always someone watching you. But you have to always be alert. And with training in some martial arts, helps to make it natural. When you start blocking and you start Thank doing you. certain things, you want to make it natural. Right, right. Shamil, yes. yeah, you, you, yes. everything you said is absolutely right. And to all you men out there, all you men, because my daddy, I'm my father's only child. And I'm going to share this with you. My dad wanted a boy. And when he learned I was a girl, he was a bit uh, disappointed. But mm -hmm. I eventually converted, turned to a tomboy, so he was excited about that part, okay? <laughs> However, but to all you men who have daughters, hmm. you know how you're wired. You know exactly how you guys are wired. Yes. Start her early, building her self-confidence. Yes. Building her mindset. Yes, helping her build her self-esteem wow. and helping her to identify who she is in a spiritual way rather than a sexual way. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Absolutely. It makes a whole lot. And, the, and, yeah. those, and those sisters who don't have a man in their household, you too have to train them. Yeah. You have to take on their responsibility and get her prepared. Even your son, boys are being violated nowadays, Sister Fridia. They're yep. being touched too, right? It's the mind. You mentioned yeah, the mindset. Right. Oh. So we have to get our children prepared. Exactly. Now, when and you talk about getting your children prepared, go ahead and rebuild your self confidence. Yes, ma'am. Rebuild your self esteem. Yes, ma'am. Work on your <laughs> discipline. You know yes. Lead by example. <laughs> Rather than do as I say, you know, and not as I do. You know? Yes. Because yes. we do have parents who say that, because I was raised that way. <laughs> you know? Yes, ma'am. But when it came to the smoking part, my mom's smoking a cigarette. I tried, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know, not as I do. You did? Yes, ma'am. And I want to salute your mother. I don't know her, but I definitely want to give her a salute in regards to raising a soldier as yourself. And teaching you simple to us, simple Crazy things. Yes. yes. She's awesome. She's awesome. Thumbs oh, up. Yes. And you know what? When I was a kid, <laughs> teenage growing up, my, my uh, colleagues used to always tell me that. But I mm -hmm. couldn't see it because she was also the disciplinary. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So the discipline over overpowered all the good stuff. You know how that rolled, <laughs> right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, um, I deal with a lot of sex trafficking seminars, conferences, conferences, excuse me, and conversations. Um, mm -hmm. and you mentioned earlier that it's a two way thing when dealing with sex trafficking. That's correct. Um, but what advice do you have for the young girls who are watching preventive measures, social media? preventive measures are not getting caught up in being the next prey for a sick-minded individual. Okay. First of all, it goes back to the home situation. Yes. You got to get into their minds first. You understand? Because mm -hmm. it all starts when they're little. You know, they get this mm -hmm. little uncle here, give you five dollars. You understand? <laughs> you know what I mean? This uncle give you five dollars. <laughs> the next thing you know is the ten dollars and the uncle went on or the, the the cousin been less than you. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the little girl's okay with it because she got five dollars. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it all starts early when they're at home. You dig? Yes, ma'am. Um, building, uh, like I said, their minds need to be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. And since they're babies, that's even better. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, yes, their minds need to be, re be rebuilt, all women, okay? Um, our, our spirits, uh, our confidence, our self-esteem. You know, because we all know, and we, they say that sexual trafficking is something that is forced upon you. It's labor, it's service, it's, it's forced upon you. But as mm -hmm. I share with you, and I know women, it's a two-way thing. And then what happens is they get caught into it, want to get out, then they're forced. Yes. Okay? 
Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. Okay? Yes. Because they didn't have to respond to that little advertisement. See? Mindset. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also keep in mind that, you know, sexual trafficking, we already know, is the third largest criminal enterprise and organized crime in the country, in the world. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not uncommon to think that it's happening on the outside of the USA because also it's happening here in front mm -hmm. of us. Yes, our neighbors across the street from us. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes, so my advice to all child parents who have daughters and even sons, because they're going to get molested too. That's right. The reality is we all going to meet our monster. The mm. bottom line, the question is, are you going to be ready? Mm. You did? Yes. You, and that makes sense? Yes. yes are you going to be ready? That's why you got to wear your armor at all times. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Duh. Hello. This is way yes. bigger than us. You yes. can't run from evil. You can't run from the enemy. You can't mm. run from hate. You can't run from negativity. That's why I told you I'm negativity proof now. Hmm. You dig? Yes, ma'am. Fully proof. Tur I am, I'm a living witness of turning negative into a positive. And if I can yes. do it, you can too. Yes, ma'am. Period. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Wow. I mean, it's, it's growing. And I mean, I'm sure it's happening. It's been happening for years and years as far as sex trafficking, human trafficking. Yeah. We can go back to 1555 with this, right? But definitely, you made a good, good uh, point in regards to the home setting. Yes. Um, even those children who are in Diana. foster care, yes. those who are in foster care, those who uh, live with their grandmothers, who are elders, you know, we have to be able to start building programs to help build our children's confidence up. If you have time, start volunteering in your community. Start volunteering at the schools. You, if you don't want it to happen, you have to be involved. We can't do anything from the from behind the scenes. You gotta put yourself in it to help save someone else's life. Because uh -huh. it's happening as we're having this conversation. Some child's being molested right now. Charmaine, some yeah, woman is right, being Charmaine, molested oh, yeah, right now. Right. Yes, ma'am. Oh. So while we're here having this conversation and and giving you all data, it's someone's child right now being harmed. So if we want to stop the bleeding, we have to do it with an action, involvement, controlling what's going on in your neighborhood. If there's a drug ring in your neighborhood, say something. Prostitution ring in your neighborhood, say something. It ain't about being a snitch. It's about stopping the bleeding. Our children want to come home. They want to go home to their parents. They want to go home to their family. You got to stop it. Definitely. Sister Fridia, do you have any feedback or any suggestions or any information you want to share with the world? You have everyone's attention on preventing this sex trafficking, this molestation, domestic violence has to come to a stop. What do you have for the world? Well, I do want to share this with you. I do recall, and I did a little research back in 2017, Attorney General at the time, Loretta Lynch, had... Mm -hmm. um, come up with the, uh, what is it called? The National uh, uh, Strategy to Combat Human Trafficking or something like that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a program there. And, and that's very, that's very, that's something that's very important uh, mm -hmm. for us to combat all of us as a group. We need to put more emphasis in there. Whatever else that we need to learn about that, that combat strategy that Attorney General uh, Loretta Lynch put forward, we need to learn more about that. In addition, I want to add to it. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, I want to add to it. Yes. Self-defense is very important for each yes, and every human being on this planet. First yes, of all, yes, first of all, there are cities, there are states across the United States that does not allow you to protect yourself. Yes, ma'am. That has to be changed nationally at the legislation. So that's the first thing that has to occur. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, can I'm only gonna say that from my own experience? Because let's say, for example, you know what I mean. I did turn Lonnie in, and him working at the police station, and he flipped that on me. Okay, yes. let's just say, for example, and he flipped that on me because you know, guys, they stick together. Yeah, mm -hmm. I protected myself. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yes. self defense is first thing that needs to be passed nationally. Yes, first, first. Because if you at home and somebody comes to your home to attack you, whether you dated them or not, yes, you have every right to defend yourself. That's they right. came to you and asked for the ass whooping. You didn't go to them. Yes, ma'am. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Okay. 
So anyway, so that's in regards to the domestic violence portion. In regards to the molestation and the human trafficking, I told you, these kids, they got to, they got to get, you got to get into their minds. It should be mandatory in the United States, just like English is. Yes. To do martial arts. Yes. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. It should be mandatory. Mm. Yes. You know why? Because we all, no matter what, you're teaching the kids how to fight. You teach them how to fight in your mind. That huh. makes sense? You teach them how yeah. to better themselves because these kids mm -hmm. need to learn. It's not about competing against other people. It's about bettering yourself, making yes. you as great as you can be. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am, it does. Yeah. But then you have you have women or men You're who right, have... You're right, Gabrielle. Mandatory, <laughs> period. <laughs> but you have men and women, children who have uh, disabilities, Women who have bad knees, possibly injured their shoulder and their back. Uh, I'm not really feeling the martial art thing. I'm not really feeling the kicking and the choking and the rolling on the floor and all of that. Um, what advice or what would you have them to do um, if they don't feel comfortable with that? The other day, I'm glad you asked that question. Check this out. <laughs> the other day, my buddy said to me, and I hadn't spoken to him in a year. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, so are you still doing martial arts? I said, yeah, bro, mentally. <laughs> I get my mental fitness in every day. Yes. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. he started laughing, but, he, but I, was for, I was serious, and mm -hmm. he got it. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, so, ma'am. My point is, there's, you, met, you guys are missing the point. You don't have to do it physically. Hmm. You understand? Yes, ma'am. You can do it mentally at times. Mm -hmm. because hair is our greatest weapon. Yes, ma'am. Hair is where our light is. Yes, ma'am. This is our power. Yes, ma'am. It makes wow. the choices. It makes the choices. Yes, ma'am. I mean, do you agree? You got to let me know, baby girl, because I'll be... I totally, totally agree. <laughs> but even with that, you just never know when it could happen. And you want to be ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Just like that. You got to be ready. Period. Because you got to think about the fact of him being an attacker or her being an attacker or a recruiter at some capacity. They're preying on you. They're ready. But you got caught off guard. So exactly. how are you going to respond to that when they try to put you in the trunk of that car? How do you respond when they come and choke hold you from the back in the grocery store? Shooting you in the neck of cocaine, knocking you out. How do you handle these things? You got to be ready. Always. You, you have know to another be ready. Thing? You are absolutely yeah. right. Another thing, your rear view mirror is your best friend. Yes, ma'am. And do not always get out of your vehicle immediately. Yes, ma'am. You understand me? Yes. Sit there for about a minute, 60 seconds, check shit out. Yes. But your rear view mirror is your best friend when you're on the yes. road. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And talk about that going the same way home every day. Go on the same that. way to work, Don't yes, ma'am. You got to yes, mix it up every time. Yes, ma'am. Every, <laughs> every time. In fact, I'll never forget this Nigerian woman saying to me, she said, you know, it's very hard for, to track you. I said, why you say that? She said, because you move differently every time. I said, yes, hey, I'm from the projects, baby girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, you move different. You move different. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I love it. Done. Oh, my goodness. We're going to go ahead and end this, this wonderful conversation. You have dropped so many bombs and cracked so many atoms, and I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for your mother again for doing what she has done in your life yes. and, though you, and your grandmother. And, um, you know, we'll talk here in the future. Definitely I have some ideas I want to share with you um, to get some more information out to the community. Um, you have any closing remarks you want to share before we? Yes, end I do. I want to say thank you very much for having me. This is what I want to share with y'all, and this is what my mama taught me, and I want to yes. pass it on to you. Okay, I'm gonna come with the t-shirts, mm -hmm. bitch. You know, <laughs> bitch. B i t c h stands for babe in total control of herself. You understand? Yes. That's what it stands for. My yes, mama told me that any time a man calls you out your name and call you the b word, that's because you ain't control. That's what mm. happened with Lonnie. Called me a B. And I showed mm. him why. You understand? Yes. So always keep that in mind. 
But more importantly, I just want to say this here. If someone says that it can't be done, hmm. smile and then reply. Maybe it can't. But I, I let me repeat, I, because mm -hmm. you got to activate that power within yourself. Because we know we got a whole lot of haters around. Ah, Ooh, be the yes, ma'am. So until I've tried. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sense. my goodness. Yes, that I love sense. it. <laughs> yes. So anyway, you can see me. Make sure you check out the YouTube video. It's called, you know, The Most Dangerous Woman to Freely Give Story. You can see, you can find me on YouTube, uh, 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 Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. I keep it simple. I am Freely Achita Gibbs. And I just want to say this dialogue was needed. I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say, I really needed this here because, you know, it's a lot of personal things going on. Thank you very much for having me. And yes, I look forward to doing this again. Awesome, awesome. Love you much. Oops. Thank you all for tuning Oops. in. Oops. Thank you all for tuning in to this wonderful conversation. I want you to share, 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 share it. Rewatch it. It's going to be here on YouTube shortly. Share it. Make comments. Show some love to our right. sister. Show it. Share yeah, it. Yeah. Comment yeah. and make it happen. I'm yeah. Danielle X here on National Network View. Share any comments below. Follow us on all platforms, social media here, Instagram, NNV News, Facebook, National Network View, and YouTube, National Network View. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Diane, Be safe I love you. and stay strong. Peace. Peace. Thank you, Danielle. Yes, ma'am. Love you much. Love you too.